No one disputes that it looks good. A bright, shiny new fire truck. In these tight budget times, it set the district back $335,000. But the truck delivered in late January has yet to see its first fire. In fact, a spokesman for the D.C. Fire Department admitted a date has not yet been set on when the truck will be put in service, or for that matter, where the truck will be assigned. For now, it sits in the back of the firehouse at 5th and Rhode Island Northeast. In the Firefighters Union president's point of view, it has become a monument to waste. Just been sitting there uh, idly in the fire station. It's really ludicrous here where we're short of fire trucks, short of frontline apparatus to have uh, this kind of a monster sitting in the firehouse, uh, not knowing really what to do with it. It's a luxury we can't afford. Up until now, the primary fire trucks operated by the D.C. Fire Department and most other departments have been either engine companies used to put water on a fire or ladder companies for handling rescues and ventilation. Numerous fire department sources say former fire chief Ray Alfred and his staff purchased this truck in an attempt to combine the separate companies into one unit. Short of the fire department spokesman, all of the firefighters and supervisors we've talked to believe this truck, built to the city's specifications, doesn't cut it as either an engine or ladder company. Tippett and others believe that's why the current chief, Otis Latin, has yet to come up with a specific plan for its use. Can it replace a ladder truck? No, it's, uh, it's certainly our understanding that it's not equipped, uh, and doesn't meet uh, national standards. What would be wrong with using it as a pumper? Well, that may be their only solution. However, it, uh, it's huge. It's going to be very difficult to get in, uh, in tight spots and rear positions. Some say because of the design of the truck, in many cases it will take two firefighters to do a job normally done by one person. Firefighters tell us on a normal ladder truck to raise the aerial ladder, the controls would be up on the turntable and the firefighter would be standing there with a clear view of the ladder. But on this truck, the controls are here and according to the firefighters, it takes a second person to stand up there to help guide the ladder. There are a lot of unanswered questions that uh, the previous chief left us with when he, uh, he ordered this monstrosity. The fire department spokesman describes the truck as an experiment, and he expects an engine company in the city to be tapped to take over the vehicle someday soon, but still can't say exactly when. Dave Statter, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.